All right, so everybody make sure you have your water. Grab your free weights if you have your free weight. Um, I'm gonna start off today with a kettlebell. So if you have something that is um, not substantially heavy, but you know, 10, 15 pounds, and you can hold it with both hands, uh, and you don't have a kettlebell, this is kind of a, a specialty item. I don't expect anybody to have a kettlebell, but if you do, kudos to you, thumbs up. But if you don't have a, a kettlebell, just like a heavier jar, um, something that's pretty substantial, because you're gonna be using both hands. So understand when I ask you to do something that way, say 15 pounds, understand it's only seven and a half pounds per arm. So that weight is split in half. So, and I only have you lift weights that is about as heavy as your arm so that you're lifting double the weight, right? But you're actually lifting just your arm weight, which you don't even feel, right? When you do this, you don't feel any resistance, right? That's seven, at least five to seven pounds that your arm weighs. You extend your whole arm out, you're probably looking at more like eight to 10 pounds, all right? So when I ask you to lift eight to 10 pounds or seven pounds, I'm just asking you to move your arm like you normally do. Boom, think about that one. All right, so let's get some water in us. I'm gonna start next week. I did iron out all the kinks with the, um, with the headphones and the music and everything. I just found out that the music is not playing aloud, it's only playing to me and to you guys. I gotta figure out a way, I like my music out. But if I can't then, that's what I'll just have to deal with. But I always create something else when I've already got it working perfect, I always add something else to make another obstacle. Eh, it's just me. All right, so what we're gonna start off with is a kettlebell squat and swing. It's um, very, a lot of the movements that we're gonna be doing is emulating everyday movements, all right? So what we call functional movements, all right? So what we're gonna be doing is basically, before I get started, is that we're just gonna swing the hand out and the hand's gonna go right in between our legs, just like that. And when we come down, we're just gonna come down into a squat. Instead of hinging here, we're just gonna bend the knees. All right, that's all, all right? But you're gonna have both hands, you're gonna be here. Because I have a handle, I'm gonna be able, unless you have something that has a handle, or you can switch it and hold it with one hand firmly, we don't want it sliding out and hitting the camera or sliding out and hitting your TV or uh, anything in your house. So if you can do it, when I switch to one-handers, if you can do it with one hand and hold it firmly, then go ahead and do that. If not, keep both hands and do the entire exercise with both hands, all right? I don't want you breaking anything. All right, so I'm gonna start off with both hands. Right, and I'm gonna swing up, a little squat, just getting warmed up. Shallow squat, getting my back warmed up. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight, and the momentum kind of just helps you bring it down. Nine. Ten again. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Woo! That'll get the heart rate up, right? Yeah. All right, all right, let's jog in place really quick. Jog in place. Barely those feet are coming off the ground just a centimeter, right? Jogging in place. We're gonna get that heart rate up, okay? Jogging it out. All right, now we're gonna start taking some bigger steps. Right? Getting those ankles warmed up, getting those calves warmed up. Staying off of your heel. You're on the ball of your foot. Okay, give me another 30 seconds. Last 10 seconds, we're gonna bring it up a notch, okay? Nice. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Get ready, 11, 10, bring those knees up. Bring them in front of you. Keep them in front. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, yeah. 
Beautiful. Woo! Nice. Bring that heart rate down a little bit. We want to keep it up, but we want to bring it down so it's interval. We want to keep it between 100 and about 115, 120 for now, okay? Just above, about 10% above resting heart rate, or uh, yeah, about 20% above resting heart rate. All right, now we're going to do something super old school. This really gets the heart going, and it's one of my classic favorites. It's a jumping jack. We're going to do jumping jack, and then we're going to do standing jacks. And nobody, everybody goes, what is a standing jack? Oh, it's, it's not, it's a, you're standing, you don't jump at all, but you're still doing a jack. And we'll get into it in a second. So we got 30 jumping jacks on the clock. Stay on the ball of your foot. Palms are up, facing me. All right. And one, two, three. Come on, four. Keep those arms extended. Don't give me those half bent arms like this. Straighten those arms out. Ten. Give me ten again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! That really gets that heart up, doesn't it? It's like doing a burpee where you're tricking your body. I don't understand how you can count through doing all of that. Huh? I, get, I wouldn't be able to count through doing all of that and not like pass out. Oh girl, we just getting started. All right. My heart rate is up yet, but I haven't broke a sweat yet. Woo! Feeling good. Get that tap, keep moving. <laughs> All right, keep moving. Everybody with me? Yes. All right, so let's start from the top that we did yesterday. Our whole 15, first 15 minutes of everything that we do, guys, is going to be cardio based. I told you we were going to get up to speed quick. You guys got to realize that I'm going to take you through carefully. We're going to do basic moves. And we're just going to put some umph on it. That's all right. Put a little stank on that regular basic movement. All right? So front lunge shallow. All right? Alternating front lunge shallow. Remember, one, alternating. Two, shallow for now. Second and third set, we go deep. All right? Six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. Ten. Now we go back. Remember? Shallow for now. Ten. Remember, bend that knee. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, feet about shoulders width are a little bit wider. We come into our squat. Remember, hands out, shoulders um, height, straight out, and keep them there. Let's go. Ten, shallow. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. First set down. Now we're going to add everything together. Get some more air in here. Woo All right, guys. I'm loving our work so far. If you need to, hydrate. We got another 10 seconds. And we're going to take it from the top. So grab your barbell, your kettlebell, your bag of beans, whatever you have. Even if it's a big old bag of beans, I'm dead serious, a bag of rice. You know those big old 20 pounds and 15 pound bags of rice? If you have a crazy rice eater like me that runs through that like water, I eat so much rice, it's not even funny. That's my carb. And uh, you could do this with a bag of rice. I should have gave you guys a demo with rice. Those lunges got me a little bit hot. All right. So let's take it again. And I'm going to switch. We're going to go 10, 10, 10. I'm going to go double, single hand, and then single hand. Okay? Ready? Let's get it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, singles, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch, 10, nine, woo, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ah, woo, out, set that down, we got 10, nine, eight, jumping jack, seven, six, palms up, five, four, three, two, we got 30, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice, good job, excellent guys, got ten seconds, ten, nine, front lunges, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's get it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, those are full range, Woo! feel those, we're at th set three, we're going full range now guys, so bring those um, squats and lunges, everything a little bit deeper, all right, five, four, three, two, and move this back a little bit, all right, so now I get my, my step back better, all right, let's go, ten, nine, remember full range, eight, seven, nice and deep, six, five, four, three, two, one, Woo! burners, yes, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, feet wide, hands out, full 90 degree squat, remember all the weight is in your heels, let's get it, ten, nine, eight, sit back on those heels, seven, six, five, think like a skier, four, three, two, one, nice, Woo. legs is nice and warm, right, uh, perfect on timing, all right, let's get some hydration, Whether you have a can of beans, a bag of beans, you're switching over now, we're going barbell. So grab your weights if you have them. If not, grab your canned goods. This is my heavy day, guys. So I go light, heavy, light, heavy. So today's workout is going to be fun for you to watch. I'm about to kick my own butt right here, right now. I'm going to actually do my real workout, well, at least half of it, on camera. The real deal. All right, so we're going to start off with our curls. So these are my bad boys, my big reds. These are pure iron 25s, so they feel more like 35 because they're pure iron. All right, not metal. All right, old school. All right, so we got simple curls, flat curls, right? And we got 10 first singles. Let's get it. One, 
One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, come on, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Woo! Thank God I got a drop set, which is a drop set is lighter weight. So in order to keep this going huh, at the pace I want to, I don't normally work out this fast. I'm only recover longer. So I'm going to drop down to 10 pounds after our second set and then come teeter pack and forth. Heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, light. All right. Now we got doubles. Woo. Let's see if I can get through this doubles. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Woo! Time for that drop set. Woo! That wasn't no joke. All right. 10 second recovery. I'm going to try to get through the presses with the heavy weight. Ah. I brought a towel this time, though. Yeah, buddy, that's smart. All right, and it's a sham, so it picks up extra. All right, here we go. Overhead press is double, then we go single. Woo, got to kick my own butt, guys. Oh, for those of you that ever want to see me kick my own butt, here it is. Here we go, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Nice. Woo. 10 seconds recovery. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Notice I'm counting slower. And one. Singles, let's get it. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, ah, seven, seven, ah, eight, eight, ah, nine, nine, ten, ten. Ooh, that was no joke. Woo, recovery time, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Now hydrate, and then we're going to grab our stool. Grab your chair, dining room chair table, I mean dining room chair, uh, any chair that you have, and it's going to be on a grippery surface, all right? All right, I'm going to use my low stool today because the higher, the easier, the lower, the harder. So if you have your chair, your dining room chair, the back is, um, the seat is facing you, all right? The seat is facing you, so you're going to be using the seat to do your push-up, your modified push-up that we talked about yesterday. Today. All right. So, just the way we talked about yesterday, the modified push up. Let me turn this down a little bit. Where is mine? All right. So, modified push up that we talked about yesterday. Remember, you never rotate on your knee. Your pelvis is always forward, right? Pelvis forward, and we just push up from there. Right? That's all we're going to be doing. 
All right, never rotating on the patella. The feet are flat on the ground. The pelvis is forward, and we're just pushing down from here. So the further away that the mat, uh, the stool is from you, the more difficult it's going to be. So that can be an improvement as you get str stronger and stronger before you um, stop the modified, okay? So you can build yourself up even through the modified, all right? So if we're not doing modified, then we're doing full range. So bring your feet up. And we're going, okay? We're gonna do three sets of 10. So wrap your mind around that. And let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. 10 second recovery. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Now, I forgot one other uh, even more modified push-up. I'm sorry. So even if you can't come down onto the knee, say the chair is too high. I didn't start about this. Say the chair is too high for you to do that one. So what you're going to do is you're going to start from a standing position. I'm going to bring this over to demo right quick. You're going to start from a standing position, right? And say your chair is, your seat is down here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to walk away from it right until you're just before your um, heels come off of the ground, right? So your heels are going to be on the ground and you're going to rotate onto the ball of your foot and come down. Okay, like you're rocking back and forth. All right? I just thought about that for those of you if your chair is too high for you to do the kneeling one. So you're going to come back to standing. You're just going to give me this one, okay? Can't leave anybody out. All right, so our first 10 is down. Let's go for our second 10. Let's go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Woo. All right. We're gonna have a nice little bout with um with our abs today. And five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Last ten, guys. Come on, you got this. Make your mods and let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Nice. Beautiful. All right, so get that stool out of the way. Come on back up to your feet. Quickly hydrate again. And guess what? We're taking it from the top. Yeah, buddy. So in my mind, the way I work out, we only are on our second set. We're going into our full second set. The other two are partial sets. We broke them up. Nothing ran together. We were introducing, and by introducing, we did it separately. So now we're doing everything as a whole, the whole workout. See how I built the workup out? Work up out. That's how I've always done it. I love the way that is. When I was a young trainer, I hate the way they just had to work out. Go one, two, three. I go three, one, five, eight. And then I put it together and we go one, two, three, four, five. It's more interesting that way, I found. All right, so what do you guys wanna start with? Kettlebell? Let's start with the kettlebell. Kettlebell. So we're gonna turn this. <laughs> so this is how we're gonna start with the kettlebell. The kettlebell is gonna be a 15. Five together holding, five single. All right, for a total of 15 because we have another set of squ um, uh, squats that we do when we do the front, back, and side to side. So let's not kill that, right? And then we got our weights with our curl and all that. So we got a lot going on, all right? Because we're running the full gambit today, guys. And we haven't even done our compound movements, all right? So yes, we got things to do. Let's get it. Kettlebell for five. Both hands. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, singles, five, 
four, three, two, one. Nice switch. Five, four, three, two. Yes. All right. Let's get that heart rate up. And let's take it to our jumping jacks. And 20 on the jumping jack. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. All right. And ten, nine, eight. Front lunge, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go. I want that heart rate up. Full range. One, two. Come on down. Three. Bob Barker, baby. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, ten. Ooh, that almost got me. Woo! That workout from yesterday is catching up. That's why I'm switching up tomorrow's workout. Three days in a row, we can't do the same thing. Two days in a row, yes. Tomorrow, power stretching. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Woo. And ten. Get those weights ready. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. All right. Woo. I haven't dropped yet, guys. Let's go hard first and then easy. Doubles. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, ah, 2, 1, Ooh. and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two. Had to wipe down, guys. And one. Let's go. Singles now. Ready? Let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, Woo. eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Oh. That was heavy. Huh. Ten. Nine. We got overheads now. Presses. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ooh, we need to hydrate on that one. All right. Whew. See if I can get through this one. I'm actually proud of myself right now. I'm killing it. Let alone you guys killing it, staying up with me. I'm loving it right now. Woo! Let's go hard first and easy. Doubles first. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. 
Yes. 10 seconds on the recovery. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Let's get it. And one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. Ten. Ah. Get those out of the way. Woo. 30 seconds recovery. We're done with that segment. We are done with that. Coming, moving on to chest and abs. All right. We did upper and lower, those legs should be on fur. All right, we're right in the pocket. So grab your chair or your stool, all right? And again, remember what I showed you guys that if the chair is too high, your modified move with your chair, I'll go over it one more time. You're here. Your feet are just before that they come off of the, your um, your uh, heels come up. And what you're going to do as you do your push-up, you're just going to rock back and forth. All right? You're doing it on the ground. And your stool is low enough. You're here. Your pelvis is forward. And you're there. All right? If not... You're doing no modifications, then your knees are just up, and you're doing an elevated push-up. And we got 10 on the clock. Let's go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. 10 second recovery. 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, wash, rinse, repeat. Let's do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Beautiful. And five, four, Three, two, one. All right, our last 10. We get to move on to abs. Get abtastic. Get abolicious. Let's get it. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Woo! All right, let's get this rid of this. Excellent work. All right, guys. If you have an extra towel, go ahead and grab it. I'm going to grab this for my elbows, for our planks. My little seat. See, I use a lot of things around the house as well. Come on down, I'm gonna tilt this down just a tad so we can stay together. All right. And hey guys, I know you see my Darth Vader and looking over at my fish tank. I didn't realize until about three days ago that my filter is broke. So it's already on order. Don't beat me up about having murky water. But in reality, that's the way that turtle would be in, in uh, nature. The water would look like that. But we're going to get it nice and cleaned up as soon as the filter gets here, huh, girl? All right, guys. So don't beat me up about having a dirty fish tank. I'm a humanitarian. 
All right, let's get um, down in plank position. And we're gonna go for a plank. We're gonna start off on our elbows. All right, elbows. And we're gonna start off, I'll be nice. Because normally I start off at the 45 and the 55s. We'll start off at a 30 today. Okay, a 30. How nice is that? 30 seconds on the clock. All right, let me get my stopwatch ready. You guys ready? In five, four, three, two, let's go. Keep it true, guys. It's only 30 seconds. You can uh, have some complaints when we get to the two minute mark. Even at a minute, that's no big deal. Two minutes, then you can start complaining. Not even at a minute and a half. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. See? That's nothing. That's why we normally start at 45 seconds. All right. So let's go for it again with a 10 second recovery, which is basically a minute now. And five, four, three, two, go. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice. That was 45 seconds. Yeah, buddy. See, I know you had it in you. All right. Now, swing around. Come back around to your glutes. Woo. That was nice, not bad. Remember I said we don't do crunches here. I mean, we don't do sit-ups. So we are, we're gonna take it to crunches. Remember, the beginning of your wrist, right, is where we wanna get, just the hand to come right past the knee. All right, so come on down. Just like that, right here. Okay, now to sit up, crunch up, all right? And one, two, three, four, we got 30, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four. Hold on, I'm crunching up on something. Is that my backbone? Am I rubbing up on something? Six, seven, eight, oh, nine. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, I was rotating on something back there. Didn't feel good. Ooh, got to get the abs right, right? Nice. Come on down. Oh. Now, I'm going to let you be the judge. If you want more, lift your head. If it's too intense, put your head down. We're going to extend the right hand and extend the left leg. Right? They're going to stay suspended. Come up, crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Hold on one second. Let me sound. We got the other side. So back down on the ground. Well, you should never go. Oh, now it wants to come on. Now it wants to come on. Wow, really? 
You guys stay there. There we go. All right, now, opposite side. Right, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. All right. Quick question, Maddie. Yep. Because now the lighting is, I didn't realize that I had it. So what should I do this? Yeah. I should do that. And then turn this off and turn this back on. There we go. All right. I think that works better. Yes. Can you see me or am I darked out? Uh, actually, yeah, you're, you're a little shadowy. Let me do this. No, I think the other one that needs to be on, the motion light needs to be on. Yeah. I think all of, I think that just needs to be like this. Here we go. That's it. All right. Now, let's go into a standing plank. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back. You know what, no, no, I'm not gonna be that nice. I'm not gonna be that nice, no. Yeah, come on back down. Cause we gotta stretch it out after this. Come on back down to the mat. I got an idea for you guys. I got something for you guys. All right, so this is what we're gonna do now. Lighting threw me off my game, my pad. But I always bring it back. So this is what we're gonna do guys. We're gonna do, I remember yesterday when we went into teacher, teacher. If you guys weren't here, you got to know my trademark is teacher, teacher. So let's get into teacher, teacher. And then from teacher, teacher, we're going to go into a uh, extended crunch just like this. All right. And I have two mods for that. So don't worry about it. All right. First off, it's remember when you were in class and you would go, teacher, teacher, call on me for 20, 19, 18, 17. Come on, get them up. 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Yes. Woo -wee. All right. Now, remember what I said we we're going to do the modified crunch? So, here, if both legs are um, too much for now, because you're going to get there, don't you worry about it. Give me one at a time, right? So the leg is here, right? And what we're gonna do is, one leg is gonna stay suspended, and we're just gonna go there, as opposed to here. All right? So you pick your poison. We got 20 on the clock. And let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Those are no joke. All right, let's hit those again. We're going to take a 10 second recovery and we're back in for another 20. And 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one. Make your modifications, one leg or two. Or if you're doing, if you did one leg, it's time for you to do the other one, all right? So second set, other leg goes up. Ready? Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Beautiful, guys. Nice work. All right, let's take it to our stretch now. We went over two few um, basic stretches yesterday. And we're going to start off with a standing stretch. 
um, that I introduced you guys to, I think the very first day, which would have been yesterday. So let's start off with that. Grab your stool, your dining room chair, table. I keep saying dining room chair and then table. Dining room ch a tape chair. I don't know what, why I gotta say the whole thing. All right, another excellent workout. I don't want you guys too tight. And you know, I wasn't too tight from yesterday's workout and I did a few other workouts. However, today was my heavy day. And um, if we do this stretch right, then uh, you probably shouldn't be too sore again. You're gonna feel something because you've been doing something, all right? So don't expect to feel anything. It's kind of your reward, right? Enjoy that. All right, so um, it doesn't matter which leg you start with. If you wanna stay with me, I'm starting off with the left. But we're gonna do both, so you can start with every one you like. So left leg goes up, right leg is straight, right? We start with that one. And remember, you never put any weight on the knee. Slide right over the knee, come on down to the, even if you have to go in front of the knee, if your range of motion is here, then that's where you're gonna be. If your range of motion is right after the knee, then that's where you're gonna be. If it's the shin, the ankle, or the foot, or the base of the chair, that's where it's gonna be, all right? Once you get to that range of motion, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay there. Now take a shallow breath in and round the head and let the head fall heavy. And come deeper into the stretch for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Good. You're not done. Turn that foot out. So and draw that imaginary line from heel to heel. Okay? Right? Now just turning a torso, come back into that stretch and watch how much more significant you can range. All right. See how deeper you are already? And just your base. And now with that same stretch, let your head fall heavy. Good. Both hands on either side. And make sure neither knee is engaged or flexing. And just stretch it out for another five, four. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Come on up. Turn your torso this way. Because if you don't turn the torso by itself, if you just try to turn this way, the foot will come down with you. We don't want that. We want the foot to stay stationary right there. So if you turn just the torso by itself, push those glutes out. Now you can come down and the foot should stay stationary. Good. Come on down. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let the head fall heavy. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. Come on up. Whoa. All right. No more graceful than that. All right. Leg down. Other side. Came up too fast. See, you come up too fast, you get uh, head heavy, top heavy. All right, so your foot is straight, right? Base foot is straight, leg is straight. Remember, make sure you're not flexing your knee, right? And come on down. Ooh, a little tighter on this side. Slide down that leg the same way you slid down the other side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And come on down, let that head fall heavy for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Come back up. Turn that foot out. Turn the torso back, right? And come back into that stretch. Oh, hands on either side. And let the head fall heavy. Make sure that knee is not engaged. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Come on up. Turn the torso again so that this foot stays stationary. Bring the pelvis back and come on down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, 
two, one of the head fall heavy, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come on up. Uh, turn this foot back in and bring it down. Nice, that was much more graceful the way it's supposed to actually look. All right, now, we're gonna do for the upper body, we wanna stretch those shoulders and everything out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stool, so if you have your chair, take your chair and have a seat right on the very edge of it. Right on the edge, right? And you're gonna take your right hand and come around to the opposite side. So if you have a back on your chair, so you're gonna reach around to the back of the chair and grab the opposite end of it, right? So it's to the right end, you're gonna grab the left end of your chair, the top of it, right? And you're just gonna stretch right there. That's your stretch. If you don't have a back like me, you're gonna grab the bottom of the stool here, bring your feet together and twist. And hold for 10. So now you're getting your back, and your shoulder, okay? If you do have a, a, um, a back on your chair, you get the added benefit of getting that whole um, thoracic and lumbar as well, all right? We get it too, we just don't get it to come all the way up. We just get it here, all right? But if you wanna lean slightly with it, well, you're not gonna get it that much more. Stay upright and then just come through the bottom, which is great, which is you get the bottom of the hip girdle. So everybody wins. All right, and hold that twist for 10. Make sure those feet are together. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. I like to scooch to the other side a little bit of the chair. Twist. My opposite hand, my other hand is here pushing my, my knees because it's, what's happening when you're over here, your leg wants to open up like that. So I push. Keep that leg in line. Ooh, this side is tight. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, man. Let's over here. Oh, man, that's tight. And twist into it and hold that leg together for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh. Ah. Little release on that last bit. Now, Good. So we're gonna go into one final stretch. No, not final. I think we can get two more in. I bet you guys never even thought about this beautiful stretch right here. Right on the edge of your chair, you're gonna bring your feet and you're gonna turn them out like that into a plie. You're gonna plie your feet out like that. Not crazy like that, but about maybe 50 degrees, all right? Okay, 45 degrees. Because 50 will be here about 45 degrees. So right, just 90 all the way around. All right, so what you're gonna do is standing up, sitting up nice and tall, right? Your, your um, butt bones are kind of right on the chair right there, right on the edge, kind of being uncomfortable, but they're about to be comfortable in a second. Take a deep cleansing breath in, and both hands inside, exhale and hinge at the waist, and bring those hands down to the ground. You feel that pressure right there on the lower back? It's kind of your, what I call the scary stretch. A lot of us are like, ooh, 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 I don't want to go that far. It's zero impact. It's all range of motion. As you exhale, go ahead and flatten those, let that spine elongate. And once you get to your range of motion, hold for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your left hand outside of your left foot. Then take your right hand and put your right hand on top of your foot, of your left foot. And count again for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Put your right hand back in the center. Bring your left hand back around. Take your right hand and go around the back of your foot and put it on 
the outside of your right foot. Take your left hand, come across, and put your left hand on the top of your right foot. And hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Left hand back to center. Right hand comes back to center. And we put elbow onto our knee, elbow onto knee, and then come up. All right? The reason why you put your elbow on your knee, you just stretched all that back out. You don't want to engage it. All right, now let's go back to that stretch that we just did. Feet in the center, come around the opposite side of the chair and watch that back get a lot more range of motion, if not decompress. And then twist to that range of motion. It's probably gonna be a little bit more. And five, four, three, two, one. And you know what you can do to make that even more interesting? Don't go to the other side yet. Take that right leg, if you're going to the right side, I and mean, if you're going to the left, take that right leg and cross it over the left leg. Right, take that right hand, put it back there, and now you're gonna take that left hand and push it against that right knee as you twist. Woo, you feel that? You are welcome. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, you are welcome. First set, just like this. Increase that range of motion. Ah, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now take that right, that left knee, cross it over the right, and do that same stretch. Oh, wow. And 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. You are welcome. Oh, that was awesome. Come up slow. Oh, that um, those glutes and those hamstrings should be nice and stretched out. You should not have any issues tomorrow. You might feel a little bit tight, but that is your reward. That's my gift to you. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Tune in and don't forget Thursday is crab cakes. Boom.